And then I said, I think I train how to see socks. Right in the pussy. I suck it right in the pussy, man. And we're alive. Uh, what was I gonna start with today? Sailing. I'll do some sailing. Only nine hundred and fifty. Stay before this. Let's try the second foothold. Oh, we got little f flippers, little finnies. Not by the hairs on me finny fin fin. Me finny fin fin. Um. Regretting your words and deeds this yet? This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Nope. Quite impossible, I'd say. Mm. Alright guys, welcome to the stream. Just got started. What's up, Outcast? Are we getting awake, Outcast? Or are you as tired as I am right now? Chillin? Yeah. I've been up for a bit, but I'm fucking a zombie. Very tired. Sleep. Pretty tired, yeah. I feel you, man. I didn't even know if I was going to stream, but here we are. Bam, bam, bam. This is gonna lead into a whirlpool. I don't think so. Oh yeah, trap. That's what it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you could kill the old big pirate man this way. If I had a better cannon. Yeah. Guess we should go somewhere else. These bad boys here. Oh, say right. What's up, Asta? <laughs> Today, he will press the thunder fist button. I actually did not use that skill at all. Today I'll take an overly long time to front mortar random ads and fights. But we'll enjoy doing it in bosses. Oh yeah, it's extremely good, but... I never used it. I just went for binds and one-two punch, and it was very good. You can't really do anything wrong in five class picks. Like, every class is extremely competent. Unless you choose dodge fencer, then you're a fucking fool who got memed. With my superior speed, I'm sure to win. Oh no! Oh no. I got hit once and exploded. Anyone here got superior speed? Does Nexus have a dodge tank? I don't know. I guess you could classify survivalist. But not really. I You could do ninja as a dodge tank, I guess. You can get a skill that does 20% extra evasion. And a buff that increases evasion a lot. <laughs> and another buff that increases evasion a lot. Yeah, I would say Ninja. Ninja's just good at Nexus, though, so you'd be fine. You They're... just wanna... Oh, Their Force Break is really good. Their boost is it increases your evasion a lot and the chance of being targeted. And their break is they try to inflict poison and the base chance is a thousand percent, so it's like always going to go off. And the base damage at level 40 is like 300. Yeah, if you want dodge tank dimension. You just want to dodge tank an Etrian, or just in general? In some game... Oh, I gotcha. Shit, man, I just want to do it in any game, just go play like Xenoblade Chronicles or something. It's one of the few games I can think of that I dodge tanked to an actual great success.
I would recommend using a hero in Nexus. It's like fucking dumb. It's got a skill that hits at the end of a turn and does extra damage based on how much damage your team did in the meantime. And it caps at a thousand percent. It's also got a skill that hits an enemy once and checks their cut resistance, and if their cut resistance is really high, it does a shitload of shock damage. If their cut resistance is you know, low, it does normal shock damage, but for stuff that's like immune to physical, it'll blast them. Use solo randoms. And Hero can create after images that use the skill you just use the next turn for free. <laughs> Like both, dude. The hero has a after image system where you spec into after image, and it rate like any skill you use has a chance of spawning an after image, and it creates a copy of you with at max level your current HP and current TP in the empty slot, and it does nothing, and then the next turn it uses the skill that you used again. And it can be attacked by enemies too. And it has skills that can like make the the after image jump in and take damage for teammates. And it benefits from all your other skills like raising attack when party HP is over a certain threshold, and raising defense when it's under a certain threshold. And doing a passive heal on the entire party anytime you use a skill. And being able to sometimes not d dissipate at the end of a turn. And it sucks you off, too. Dude, I wish. <laughs> Does it deal range damage? Uh, there is a skill that off. Hero has, which is ranged cut. It's not the best skill, but it has a high chance of after image creation. Well. The double A press. Lore loss. Two frontliners. Uh, yes, potentially. But honestly, you don't have to. I have two frontliners, so it's fine. Like, I have the space up front. But if you have any passives that affect a row, then you can spawn an after image in the other row. Like, you could sub War Mages onto it and put on Vampire and anything that has an ailment that gets hit, you steal HP for the row. Stuff like that. Subclassing in Nexus is, like, not very deep. You're not very deep. Yeah. It's too simple. Mm, Solomon. Mm, Solomon Odyssey. I have the cannon. Yeah, I definitely think Hero is one of the best classes in Nexus, like without question. Without question. So is Shogun, dude. Shogun gets a fucking like 60% damage buff. Which is stupid. Sovereign's also quite good.
Ronin's also fucking stupid good. Really like Ronin. Because Ronin's actually, like, fucking useful in this game. In previous games, it had to, like, use a skill to get into a stance. In this game, it automatically picks a stance at the start of battle. Do Ronin and Nexus. It's it's very good. And with the way the infliction formula works for ailments, um, in 5 and Nexus, it uses the... Inf I think in 2U as well. It uses the infliction formula of two times the attacking stat and one times the luck. And Ronin has really high strength. So any skill Ronin uses that can inflict an ailment uh, has an extremely high chance to go off. It and Gunner are like the best strength based inflictors in the game. So I'm over here petrifying shit. I petrified a boss and just dabbed on it, dude. Look at Katie going. I'm trying to figure out how to get through this. Yeah, man. I don't know if I need more, uh... Food? I mean, I see a way to get to this if I could get into this very first part. You mm -hmm. gotta believe, dude. You can do it. I'm sure I can align this if I did it just right. And yeah, I never use Ronin in, uh... Untold 1 or 2 because it's not very good. He's gonna say it. Not again. I gotta say, it's less interesting at the end than it is at the beginning. Yeah, I wish there was more to explore. I think uh, you get a lot more into your characters and the dungeon exploring, so it's changing. And then the sailing is not, and it's too linear and too puzzly. I get they want to make it harder, but just going somewhere and like sort of, oh, I found a place, and now I can get farther, but you could still go do other shit is cool. This is like, every single thing you do is one place that leads to another place that leads to another place. And you're playing a puzzle game at this point, you're not playing a, an adventure thing. I still like it, but yeah, it's it's not as strong as it, as it started in Maybe I don't want seaweed sailing. And there's just not enough rewards that aren't quests. The quests are good, but like... A little something else when you're running around would be neat. Most of the rewards feed right back into... I mean, I guess you can get paid, but money becomes less of an issue the later in you are. You know, maybe you find, you know, those weapon tomes. Maybe you go to those places and you get equipment, right? You know, that'd be kind of cute. Maybe like extremely small dungeons here and there. Like I said, I like it overall. I love the concept. I think it's a really cool way to mix it up. But... Well. Actually, wait. Faster, if you use a hero, you can't really use a ninja. Because they're competing for the empty slot. <laughs> Oops. Just play it twice, bro. I mean, yeah, Hazy Arrow is the way to go. <laughs> Nexus does have Imperial. Fuck, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the problem. Too many classes. Because, yeah, exactly. Nexus has this problem where a ton of its classes are frontline melee DPS because they did popularity polls, and of course that's what everyone likes. They remember their fucking damage dealer. Oh, so yeah. stuff like Hexer didn't get in. Hexer should absolutely have gotten into this game. It's very iconic. I would have used a Hexer in a fucking instant. 
Giddy in either Untold 1 or Untold 2, you're using the fucking Hexer. Huh? You heard me. Huh? 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 Nadi? Nadi Gore? Dude, hexer is so fun. Yeah, get fucked fast though, because Imperial. Oh, that Excel. arrow was pointing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I, was oh, like, no. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go into that and then come right back out. <laughs> I'll have to come from another angle. Fucking Imperial's Excel Drive skill at max. Like that's the huge melee almighty hit, and it puts you in nine overheat. So it does twelve hundred percent. Twelve hundred. Yeah, and it costs sixty TP at max. The subclasses just kind of aren't fleshed out in um, Nexus. I feel like in pretty much all situations, you will sub Harbinger, Ronin, or Nightseeker. Especially Nightseeker. Maybe Launch Neck. I have a Hoplite and a Mage. And a healer. I got tank. Me got tank. We got tanky spanky. Me like two tanky spanky. <laughs> Arishi and <laughs> Arishi. <laughs> oh wait, I can't do this either. Dude. There's only one tank in Nexus. I'm fine with Protector and Medic making it. It's totally cool to have like these staple classes, but then you don't have Hexer. People I mean, are always going to pick the classics. I mean, look at any popularity of all. Fasto, they're, they're edited from their previous iterations, though. Like, okay. they're not one to one. Okay. In fact, Medic is actually better not as a Medic in Nexus, it's better as a frontline DPS. What the? Yeah, because it gets skills that actually hugely Medic. buff enemies. Kill that motherfucker. It has attacking skills. Like, look at this shit. I'll, I'll list it out for you. He's gonna list it out for us. Star Drop. Deals melee bash damage to one target, reduces their physical defense for three turns. So, at max level, Star Drop does 370% damage, which is actually pretty good. And you lower their defense by 25%. And then, you have Medical Rod, which, same thing, 370%, and it lowers their elemental defense by 30%. So if you have an Imperial, that actually is pretty solid. And their force break is like just nutty. Instant heal everyone. Panic button. Yeah, I mean, Star Drop's good. I wanted to use Arcanist. But they got nerfed in Nexus, and their chances of infliction are lower. And I'm like, eh. plus circles don't attempt to inflict when you cast them. They only attempt to inflict on the end of each turn, which I really don't like. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So my solution to ailments is to have a Ronin and then subclass Nightseeker onto Ronin 
and then just use throw skills because you don't need to have a specific weapon on to use throw skills. So I just auto throw blind everyone with huge rates because of strength. I still like Hexer more than Arcanist, but Arcanist is good. You're using a Hexer in at least one game, Gable. I'm sure. And it's going to be to you. Does this cannon shoot farther? Because Hexer... Well, oh. Infliction in EO Untold is not as great. It's still fine. But in 2U, dude. Good shit. Good shit. The fuck? Why is everything so hard to get around? He's firing his cannon. Get his ass. Oh, no. Jesus. Jesus. Just, just go up. What do you mean? Okay, now go up. I'm trying to get around to the left. To go up to the Japanese land. I almost do think that. I'm just going to go from the top. Man. Yeah. Like, good God. I just figured Actually, it'd be wait. a clean cut through No, you can do this. You can definitely get there this way. I think I did that. I'm sure, but I have to figure out... I'm going to have to do what I did for that other one and count the fucking spaces back. Fucking a line. A oh, line. lordy, lordy, lordy. Three places is... A lot of movement. You're fast. I'll give you your Nexus team. Uh, they should have made it variable. That would help with exploration. You'll have a medic, a Ronin, a survivalist, uh, work out the rest yourself. Hero, probably. Sovereign. There you go. Medic, hero, sovereign, Ronin, survivalist. You won't even use a Zodiac. You'll have to skip out on Imperial. Hell no. No medic. Alright. Yeah, honestly, there's enough healing with Sovereign and Hero, dude. You don't need a medic. Counting this, we'll just see if it works. Works. Oh, we just gotta hope the fucking pirate's there.
uh, I don't remember if survivalist had ailments into you. To my understanding, it wasn't that good to you, but it might be actually fine. Let's find out. Oh. Nope. Can't do it, Captain. Oh wait. One, two, three. Oh, I do it. Oh, the rest of this shit though. Yeah, they needed to just lean more into this being adventure. I don't mind a bit of puzzle, but I think keeping it light and then maybe having some side stuff that's harder is, is the way to go. I mean, it's still fun, but yeah, it's it's absolutely probably too much. Set sail, set sail. Some pirates. I don't know if there's any reef sailing. Maybe seaweed. Yeah, you have to be like counting the map up, and it's like well, two was plenty. Because then you have to use islands around. Like, it'd be fine if it was more localized, but you're having to do these, like, massive charts out. Maybe if you could do, like, a, you know, like they do in the, the actual maps, like a little protract thing, and then kind of, like, shit your way out, that'd be kind of cute. But I don't think the, uh, the, the system is quite uh, nice enough for, you know, these huge ones. Because you don't know what's coming either. I mean, yeah, so it's, it's for multiple trips. And then you have to time it with, like, pirates, and it's just less about the adventure at that point. Because you're, you're, you're traveling massive distances, so you find everything really fast. It's more the getting to the puzzle, where in the beginning it's like, you can only go 16 spaces, so... It's about just getting a little further, right? Getting just a little further, checking that little thing out. There's no, like, mystery of what's coming still. God, dude, the infliction formula in Untold One is so fucking cursed. It's cursed. 
You will all be cursed. It uses your luck at a uh, times one rate, but fucking. It uses your tech at a times two rate. So if you don't have tech, you can't inflict. Which is so stupid. Weird. Power. I have to go through this over here. I don't know if I can even make it. Wasn't it fine in 4? Four? 4 has the same inflection as this game, which is tech and luck. thing is, in, in this game in 4, it's two times your luck and one times your tech, so it's still, like, not good, because you don't really want to have tech weighted in for inflection, it doesn't make sense. But at least luck is, you know, doubly effective, and helps compensate. But in fucking Untold 1, it's two times the luck, and one times the tech. It's like, why? Why did you do this? Why would you do this? Like, Hexer's still good at inflicting, but no one else is. I mean, Alchemist is, I guess. I think 2U has the best mechanics, probably, but 5 and Nexus have pretty good mechanics. Elman Alchemist? No, no, no. Alchemy spamming Hexer. With a magnificent atmosphere. Cool. Love Japan. If this was like the Bronx or some shit, can I put a magnificent atmosphere because it's from America? But I think this is the most excellent building in the entire game. story mode and untold one pastel since you liked it so much. I did it. <laughs> this feels like the most pro Japan thing. I don't know if they've been this fucking I'm gushing about an area, yeah. You saw enchanted by the exotic feelings of the far west. You finished story mode. Damn. Our character's daydreaming about Japan.
elephant turtle. Yeah, I heard about that. You fight the super boss in the story mode, but it's weak. I don't know, man. Even if I go through Stratum 6 and Untold, I'm just not sure. Because I would need to probably burst that thing down. And that sounds like we're more grinding. We don't like grinding around here. We don't. Now, speaking of grinding, you can now do the instant grind. Oh. Are these cities worth going back to to see what they got in them? These you gotta ask two? yourself that, not me. I mean, have you done it? And these two? Oh. More weapon tomes, I'd imagine. Look within yourself. I can't. I'm just a husk of a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot this fucker down to even get through here. I if I saved right before this. I don't. Just have to use the money. Spot. Look at him. Um, Look at didn't him. Didn't see nothing. I seen it. Talk to him. the pirate this way, maybe. How loud he doing it? Oh no. I don't think I'm gonna have enough juice. He's improperly juiced. He eats more juice. Cannon out, man. Oh 
Oh no, he's owned. How could this happen? How will it happen? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Dude, when the fuck is Fasto playing Evolution Worlds? <laughs> no, never. Trick a man. The like peak that. of dungeon crawling. The peak of dungeon crawlers, dude. Fun, but I I don't know. If, if in good conscience, I can recommend it to somebody. <clears throat> oh, uh, nothing, dear. Evo sure evolution worlds. Go to his childhood game. <laughs> the peak of the dungeon crawling genre. Carry on, carry on. <sighs> Just two what I assume are mediocre Dreamcast games fused into one. Damn fool. I wanted to use Necro, but I was just like, eh. I think I'll use Harbinger instead. The absolute end game of Necro is Tombstone Vice, or using, what is it, Zombie Powder on FOEs that are weak to instant death and getting 9999 HP summons.
You mean the rover? Because that wildling's older brother. Red Rover. Red Rover. Dude, Rover has pretty good inflection. On the Hawk. even need to do anything janky like reclass an earth lane into a rover since earth lane has huge luck because the summons operate off their own stats which are independent Smile and nod, Katie. No. The shareholders are not pleased. <laughs> You're being ousted from the company. Do give me some fat food. Apparently. They wouldn't just give you the big scale and have you use it one time. Or would they? This is before you. However, it seems to be impassable from this side. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let's try this. And fuck you, man. set up to fuck you. Oof. Gonna go manual. Oh no. I don't want that. 
Let it waste one movement and use that to save myself some food. Said set fucking sail. What the hell are you guys doing? Ooh. I can't believe my eyes. are playing tricks on me. There's something right in the north there. Unless I want to go to that fucking house. I guess I could now. We'll see what's there. A magnificent voice. Frail humans. I am he who watches eternally of the law. Well, <laughs> I haven't spoken in thousands of years. I'm living here now, worthy to hear my voice. None can pass my trial and gain my power. Oh. They're not just like a fucking proper end to this dude's thing? Huh? Like, I mean that was probably the last key area, right? Yeah. But it's not like, you did it, you, you fucking done it. The sea is wide, dude. You it's found wide. everything. He's like, yeah. Go find some cacao plants or something that nobody cares about. Found the damn key places. For God's sakes, Vlad. Here is a question. No. Field it. That's a statement. I'll take anything. I never tell you a really funny guy. the regions? What do you mean? Map the world? He did not map the world, dude. This is not the world. They mentioned this that this Japan place is just a foothold for the western or the eastern regions. Like, implying that there's way more. Canonically, I don't know. But the point is, like, they're elsewhere. I 
I have no further comment. I take this as like... Imagine the Atlantic Ocean was rotated with the continents, and we essentially just explored like an island in the middle, and then <laughs> to the north and south there are like continents, because that's what you can see here. The northwest is supposed to be a continent, the like Arabia thing. To the west is like, you know, Japan and the North Pole or something. And I guess that's how it is. Like, I would imagine it's just like a small ocean instead of the whole world. I mean, that'd be cooler, yeah, if it was not... Like, yeah, obviously the ocean you're exploring is larger than the scale presented to you in the game. But it's not, like, massive. It would be cool if they just weren't even connected in any way and this was just like, I explored the world, but... Yeah. Even when you go to the edge, they're like, this is outside your investigation zones, and there's like more out there. I guess. I don't know. They should have just called it like North Amarod Ocean, North South Amarod Ocean. Instead of like North Ocean and South Ocean sounds like those are the oceans, man. Right? That's all there is. Does that not count as a foothold? No. How the hell did I do it? For the money I got. So you know how to. Huh. Huh. Sequest time. Uh, let me see what this house has first. What the heck? What the heck? Me, Solomon Alsi. Can you do that? I'm doing it. Watch me. Oh. You watching? Closing my eyes. Oh my. What the? Ah. Fishing. I'm gonna Holy. Drown myself in this whirlpool. The news fishing for money. Poor bastards. At least they made it. They made it. stuff we're still missing in the beginning but those are probably just minor checks on every little fucking island no way dude don't need it Let's just see him. I mean, there's no way we're gonna be able to do him. I well, mean, except the one. You can do both. Both? With the cheesy. The cheesy? Yeah. Oh, that's it. I just need to bring one guy or something? Yeah. For both? Yeah. But one of them is what I had you make a wildling for. Oh, you know, it. Ahead of time. Okay. You drop anything from any enemy limit just in case you want that. Why not? Helps with farming. Uh, but I have to go get the wild man. Well, I mean, you can do the IAEO one right now. You have to reset first, but that's the RNG minute with NPC. Oh, well, let's do that one for shits. He's doing it. Let's mm, see it. True isn't sacred anymore. He's using RNG to get limits early. Who gives a fuck? Shut up. I'm gonna drop Get the fuck out of the YouTube comments, you <laughs> fucking troll. I'm gonna drop it. 
website that I might never even use. I know you're fucking there in the YouTube comments, you fucking wet towel, shut up. Wet towel. And really these don't even get like that much I mean they do if you do them a bunch, but once or twice I'm gonna be like I'm, like I'm jumping ten levels. Just give them a peek. I'm curious how silly these RNG exploits are. The one for the penguin was pretty silly. Yeah. It's interesting thinking about how the AI works and how it's not, and a lot of them aren't on an actual like pattern. All right, let's take a peek. It's not like we won't be doing them legit anyways. Gotta do like all versions of it. Well, well maybe I won't if they're really annoying, but reset. Clear American. Fasto, you're about to fucking kneel, dude. Because I bet you didn't do this. Why would you? Because it's funny. You have to know about some random exploit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, yeah, I just think it'll be funny. He's gonna kneel. Alright, so it's for a mutated girl. I'm Glaucus, soldier of the year. Put her front. <laughs> yeah. Looking up exploits, absolutely. Oh my god, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? As long as you didn't grind them, man. I didn't advantage. abuse to like get an advantage. I abused to get my shogun up to snuff on everything else, and then abused to get the cheese team ready for the unfair super boss. You don't need a limit. I think that's all fair. It is fair, that's why I did it. I have experience DLC in grinding. 5 and Nexus, dude. I haven't used it. I used it in 5 to get the level 99 for the super boss, and then didn't even fight the super boss, because it was shit. I just want to see what these are, because I might not do them if we beat the game before we're the right level for these. You'll still have access to them in NG+. Depends on what level I end up. I don't want to struggle on the sequest for like 2-3 hours anymore. Oh no, you don't have to, yeah. You can just always come back later. Oh yeah. But they'll be ready for you when you do game plus. You can do them anytime. Okay. We'll see what they are here in case I don't. Doing yeah. them legitimately is totally fine. It's actually pretty fun, I would say. I mean, I'm, that's what I plan on doing. The penguin is like still 10-20 levels above me, so... Yeah. Captures indomitable spirit to challenge the grotesque beast. Alright, this one is involved. Whoa. So, Thanks. do exactly as I say here. <laughs> Press escape. On my keyboard? Yes. Okay. I just want to see it. <laughs> I just want to see how stupid this was. That was already worth it, man. I forgot it was one turn. You said there was some one turn one, but I totally didn't think about it. Oh, is this what the is the wilding chads? What the? <laughs> I need the wildlings. God, what a good glass all along. Oh my God, it just one shot this high level boss. Holy fuck. I'm guessing that monster was his girlfriend. Not anymore. Well, let me do that one more time for the loot, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next one. It's so fucking funny. I don't want to get like 
50 levels from it, although you totally could. Just quit. <laughs> I was like, okay, here we go, 50 inputs. Does Wilding have some kind of insta kill chance with that? Creature? Yeah, the tiger roars and attempts to instant kill. And usually it's not going to happen, but when you reset the RNG seed like that by resetting the game, <laughs> it so makes stupid. it exploitable. These are probably only possible because you can just instantly get these from a menu with the save right before it. If you had to do like a long sequence, people would not be looking them up or trying to figure them out. I mean, you can even save at the end and do it. I just mean if they were, like, down in the dungeon, it would be, like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very hard to manipulate. Well, I mean, I guess maybe it would be. They do it in, like, There's nothing like this shit. in the other games. Yeah. Can't believe it this easy, then. I wish this was in the ones that have paid XP DLC. Maybe Why did you only have one person in your party, by the way? It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? You I can thought... have all five, you just bring one. Oh. Oh, well, whatever, too late. <laughs> thought... Bros are getting cranked. But you only get the, the XP for one still, right? Yeah. I didn't know you could just put one in and that was it. Okay. Easiest boss in my life. They call this a hard RPG series. Okay. That's enough Losers. for that. Now we get this special wildling. Yeah. 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 Glaucus's lands. Glaucus. Wild Mang. Alright, time to allocate some skill points. Let me see. Creature. You just need tiger. a tiger, nothing else. <clears throat> Wild Master 10, Sacrifice 2. Save reset. I can't believe the wildling is the strongest class in the game. Can you do this kind of shit on the super moss? No. It's immune to insta death. The final super boss is immune to even Kaishaku. Oh really? Yeah, it's got a special no Kaishaku check. Can I say? Yeah. Let's see what this meme shit is about. I assume it's going to be very similar to what we just saw. Oh, Bradless. What makes you think that? 
There's something in the air, man. Bugs. Bug. Buggy. Bug in the air. What are you up to tonight, Randless? Ooger eat. Which one of these we after? I think it's veterans needed. You stick the wildling in the top slot. This is Jefferson City Marines, 7 by 2. We got eyes on bogey. We got a Victor Tango. Oh yeah? Liked it that much, huh? I could be misremembering this one, but I'm pretty sure this is it. We'll find out pretty quick. We'll find out pretty quick. Yeah, I'm excited to try it out, man. I got, got a few games before then, just because I want to keep the mail moving, but should be fun. It's like a cup of tea. We'll see though. I think it'll be at least a good talk, because a lot of people have played it in here already. Cody will have time to beat it before I play it, man. You can hear the crickets chirping. Dreadful Sea Dragon. Whoa. Do I call the tiger? Turn one, defend. This guy looks hardcore. Turn two, summon tiger. Summon tiger. Obliterate. Even two levels. <laughs> I feel like these quests don't actually give like that much. <clears throat> it's a lot. I mean, it's 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 decent, but killing something this ahead of time in another game would probably fucking completely destroy the game. You have to actually put in a little bit of time to have it do something. I mean, we're not using a real character. But... Let's do it again. Hello again, everyone. So you managed to defeat the dragon running up at an Ugarit. The limits. The limits. The limits. Beyond all to limits. Fortuna, that sounds like the one. time while we're here because I have no investment in doing all three of these legit well, as long as we beat it legit on the other two or at least one that's good enough for me like I've put probably dozens of hours into the sequest attempts already we'll get back to exploring Funny that the last three quests all have some like cheese. I mean, maybe the early ones do too, but those don't really matter. If you wanted to level up a wild thing real quick, this would definitely be the way. Yeah. As long as you already had enough points. Get the limits. Mr. 
goldsmith come back to us. Quintessence. Powerful non-elemental damage to all enemies at the turns in it. What's that scale off of? Probably tech, I don't know. Who cares? What? What if I want to spam it on Goldsmith? Lucky Hammer. Oh, Lucky Hammer's the one. Break damage on one enemy it turns at. How much damage is this? Not a huge amount, but oh, enough. Okay. Curious if it's worth spamming on Goldsmith. It's not bad. It's just extra damage you can toss out. Guess you'd get all the drops too. I mean, I feel like invincibility is probably better. I mean, obviously this will be useful. Also, this has to kill them. Yes. Okay. Huh, that's pretty cool. Well, we'll just use it when I need it. It'll be better than formaldehyde every two seconds. Glaucus's lance. much resistance this is really though. Don't really care about arm or figure resistance, just be the head one. Seems good, but yeah, I, I would pop that in in a special fight. All these parts. Kurikara Ice Fame Arabia. Well, cool. Guess that's it for sailing for now. Might be one more actual sailing thing we do, but more likely just gonna be we do a few quests here and there. Back to the lab again, man. Here we go. See what the second floor has in store for us. That'd be fucking good. Oh. What the fuck is this quest. event, dude? What the... Fucking find a soldier in a labyrinth by himself, and he's like, Help me, adventurers. I told everyone that I could conquer this labyrinth with my bare hands, and my teammates took my sword and shield and locked them up somewhere. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who does that? I actually have to equip this knife, or is it just for show? Seems like it's just for show. Nah, man, you gotta equip it and kill it with that. I already said I equipped it. No, you didn't. <clears throat> what the fuck? Huh, the mushroom dagger. <clears throat> hmm. What if I clone myself on a Wishi and attack with the mushroom dagger twice? Whoa. Insurance. As long as we gotta find this guy, he might not even be close.
And if you had to draw the maps again for New Game Plus, I would not do it for sure. Oh shit. This must be him. I think that was him. No, it sure was not. <laughs> like, there's a mushroom man out there we need to kill. But not that mushroom man. There are many. There are many mushroom men. Never forget this. Fuck is the next Pikmin game. They didn't mention it, but it's always good to hear. <laughs> Rap power stance. <laughs> yeah, I love how just the, the final dungeon is just like tree rats and like you collect mints and shit and the harvest. It's interesting.
at working out or having some kind of therapy and then relaxing afterwards is an amazing feeling. Peak, comfy. Just for that, a good feel. I have to wake the fuck up. What are you doing? Quite comfortable myself. Being tired kind of helps there, but it also makes for probably not the best entertainment. So I'm a zombie living in the man I'm scared. I guess zombies are man skin. There's another man skin inside me that's just of a zombie variety. Zombies, you got that right. Cursed wool. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna bring about the low energy craze here. Did forget me thread again. Gosh darn it. I'm guessing it's gonna tell me when the, the creature popped up. I'll switch back. Fucking life, he's been dead. It's supposed to fill those men. <laughs> well, what part of Bust of Fellows are you referring to? Just Bust of Fellows. <laughs> you just want to bring up Bust of Fellows. My cursed Dan. Yeah. 
Speaking of, take this off my Twitch. Make the public on YouTube. I want that on Twitch. Need more dislikes on my videos, man. I feel like there's probably people who just go around looking for like a lot of your content just to dislike. <laughs> what if it was that one guy, the the wet town guy? I actually don't have many dislikes on stuff, but I always wonder when like that's all there is on a video, just one dislike. If there's like any kind of like bots or something that do some of that. So I don't even know how they find the videos because the algorithms. Oh no, my Theresia video has one dislike. They're like, who's this bastard talking in the video? Also got 57 views on the How many people fucking have played Theresia, dude? Seven more people than I thought. Maybe it's all one guy. That was back when I did like really short videos. I have a confession to make. What? I watched it 57 times. Damn. A little scary, but uh, I appreciate your dedication. Yeah. I'll be filing a restraining order though, you understand? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, the cloth armor here, apparently. Pretty juicy. Seventy-eight versus ninety-five. Oh. We can only get one. Have to farm him some more. Not like he's terribly difficult. the coffee helped that much. That was... I think I'm tired enough that coffee is very little effective. Double actions, though. 
That's the business. It's the max for our mortar for now. I'll put the random fights even more. And we'll go for the rest of Berserker Vow. And double action. And then probably proper form. And then Bolt Mastery or something. I don't know. What else we got? Maybe the other two barrages. Probably just mad, just slam HP really. Probably smarter. TP maybe. This icky paint like goo. Goddamn bastard. Shoot their shit out of them. Your final enemy, the fat rabbit. Holy. It's one of those drinks, the more you have of it, the more disgusted you get. Like at the beginning, you're like, oh, not too bad. And then it's like, hmm. Just like that. Just a kind of torturous grunting. And one of these days I need to finish tagging that list, the new to beat and played list.
Okay, I'm just gonna fight him. Confuzzled. There you go, Mr. Goldsmith. Confused. Maybe just did two in a row. You know what, Katie? I'm gonna say it. RE8 was better than 7 by far. People who like 7 more than that. By far? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know about by far, but I definitely by like far. it better. By far. I mean, I definitely prefer it. It's almost like saying that RE7 is not even good. Man. I did not say that. By far Wait, makes me. Words in my mouth, boy. By far makes me, you know, some something of that caliber. Sir, there are degrees of good. All right. I want you to know that. Yeah, it's just more. Feels more Resident Evil, and it's just more fun. How you doing, Cora? He's checking it. Checking what? He's checking. What? Look at him. I'm not checking. Behave. I mentioned a lot of people would say the opposite, but that's because more spooky focus shit is more popular nowadays. I feel like RE8's Maybe more to the roots of the series with the campiness or mix. Not that seven isn't campy, but it's not quite the same. Uh, I need to heal. This guy's being an asshole. Take a risk here. <laughs> oh my. Not gonna prevent order. Oh wait, sorry y'all. There we go. We're good. Holy. I'm gonna eagle eye though. It ain't no sheep. He ain't no simple sheep. He's That's the, the fucking devil's he's ram. He's the somnivore. This is a... This is a demonic sheep. There we go. He's being nice. make it there.
Ladies and gentlemen, we go again. Shortcut coming. That's what you like to see. I think I will partake. I also think I forgot to buy a thread again. Why, yes. Yes, I love running back. It's very fun. I think we got the mana, but there's a there's a check one here, might as well. fresh in here we are possibly going to finish this route today still gonna play the game more times although those playthroughs will be very short comparatively and then post game which will not be short i imagine post game will take longer than those two playthroughs will we'll see Phony. Yeah, I know. This is an R8 DLC. Didn't that get an actual kind of news recently? I don't think so. That it's like happening soon. I don't think so. I feel like they're a little late to the, the ball on that. Kilt tassels. Boots. The Aurora Veil. Mm. The Rabbit Tail. Rabbit. She needs that much TP. No, oh, it's Jesus. Fine. Oh, I need to mention this just in case I like get up and you blast through the end game at some point for some reason. Once you finish the final mission in the game, before you go to New Game Plus, turn in the mission. Because you can miss it. Turn in the mission for finishing the game? Yeah, before you hit New Game Plus. Load the game back in, oh. turn in the mission. Jesus, they let you just fucking do that? Yeah. That's pretty heavy duty. Skill issue. Of course. sufficient skills my whole chat believes me my fellow people on voice bully me
cheap, believe me. But we may do Sifu tomorrow, see. So yeah, I, I did not realize it was longer than it than it is. I looked up the how long to be, which is tends to be very inaccurate, but I thought it was like a two to four hour game. And they're like, it's eight to ten. I won't be replaying it. I won't be doing achievements. So we'll see. But, uh, I still would like to like to finish that so we can get some other stuff coming in. Well, the next thing I have coming in the mail that's new won't be for a couple of weeks. We might try to do something old in there. Next new thing is that, uh, map. Mm, maybe there'll be no rush then, actually. That comes out. 20th. Oh, yeah, I could finish. Maybe. Dying to play that shmup on release and really stuff up to the top, uh, top right, but uh, go back for it, I guess. So we might end up coming back around, anyways. Feeling of drawing a line and then immediately going, Wait, <laughs> you do that? No, what the liar? I don't believe this guy for a second. Dude, it's another sheep. Oh, it's a claw monkey. That ain't no monkey. That's a sheep. <laughs> Pokemon MF first, so. yeah. enemies down here. A lot of ceiling. But I shoot. Uneven. What the hell are they think? My mind. Deal with it. Now you get no map. Uh oh.
좋다 좋다 the fucking tells man what are they thinking what are they fucking thinking these crazed bastards I don't think I want to fight another sheep Grammy go to what what would that be? Wet. <laughs> I should have known that. Quit. Where the fuck am I? Crystal clear, it shouldn't be difficult to scoop some up the drink. If it occurs that the pool's constant water, it could be refreshing. Here. Salt water. Oh. Get some salt. Use a mallet. I keep a trusty mallet around always. It's out. God damn it. God damn son of a bitch. Make sure we got this right. Oh, great. Just healed myself. I got the TP back, so I guess it's all good. That's cute. Jeez, I almost died from drinking this water, but two seconds afterwards, I came back to life. How does that yeah. happen? Curious. Curious. Tail is... Curious is... The Curious Village. Curious is right in the name. Mm 
please don't bind my head. I don't know why Rosa would need her head to shoot a gun. You point gun, you shoot gun. The end. Peach Crow. A familiar sight. Hopefully he's not familiar in uh, any other ways here. He's dead. This part step by step. More free ball and use these little points to confirm you're doing it right. I'm out. Two. Oh my. The boys. I think I'll pass. I need to fight every single guy, and I sure as fuck don't need to fight those ones. What's up, Wayne's World? Welcome back. I think there's actually anything over here. We're at the, the corners here. I'm pretty good. Tired. Really tired. Otherwise, pretty good. Let's see how long I stream tonight. It's some really bad sleep. Yeah, that happens. Would be a problem except for streaming being tight. It's generally not very good. Shittier conversation. Everything else. Crab apple. Difference between an apple and a crab apple. One's got pinchies. Pinchies. Oh,
Well, I guess that's that room. Now, the mapping's a bit more intensive in this world. Because you can only, uh... can't actually see... Where you are in certain areas. Which is a cute gimmick. Yeah. I like this combo. Not like it's a shit combo, but. So is there like a proper E3 thing going on this year? I know not like actual E3, but like there's the Summer Games Fest. I think um, Xbox was having some showcase. Isn't it, does anybody know if Nintendo's doing something? There's a Nintendo Indie Direct tomorrow. Tomorrow? Really? What time? 7 Pacific. AM? You gonna stay up for it? AM? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be awake anyways, right? I mean, I might be tired, but... I mean... I'm gonna stay up seven, for 7 Pacific is 9. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think it will. I mean, it's not gonna be a big deal. I could feed you the info if you really want. Unless I don't get a second win. Usually with me, it's like I'm really tired at the beginning of the day, then I'm way better at the end of the day. Which is why I probably stay up so fucking late all the time. Well, it'll be interesting. I mean, I'd be looking more forward to a, a proper direct, but you find some interesting stuff from those Nintendo indie ones still. We'll watch that, why not? If I'm if I'm actually still awake. Better that than just you know, watching some more red letter media like I've been doing the last few nights. Well either way I always stream the events, so if there's something in June we'll We'll stream it. I imagine it'll be the first week or two. I guess I could look it up in a minute. I'm curious. Not my Metroid Prime 4 news, man. Care about the Monster Hunter event. A lot of people have been talking about that, but that's like I know I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna just see what's happening. Blind. And the last one I watched was fucking horrible. It was like it was made for complete, just drooling monkey men. <laughs> you gotta read the file name. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I mean, we'll at least get the band out of three this year, but... Well... I mean, maybe. I actually have no idea.
Oh, Georgie needs to be awake or we can't do it. For fuck's sakes, man. I'm out. I'm fucking out, dude. AoE fucking ailments. AoE head seals. Two of them. You're just asking for a long drawn out shitty fight. See what's the other way. I keep taking the the right path instead of side path. Yeah. I'd be fine if I wanted just to beeline it. But... Please don't sleep my whole team. Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry, this Nintendo Direct indie thing, Silk Song will be at. Or at least that's what every single person on Earth is gonna say. And then be wrong. I can handle the giant birdman. It's a nice, honest birdman. mentioned the hero has this ability that hits twice and if something resists physical yeah. it'll uh, do a lot of shock damage yeah so if you petrify something its physical resistance goes way up so you can do it and it does a shit ton nice. I am becoming stronger coming OP cheats when in his natural habitat Hmm. Okay. 
another one of these rooms. That should be the same on all sides. Really good if you swash buckles in. His attack order is just a uh, level 10 frame order, it's not enough to kill this guy. Right? A little extra juice. Pink bird's leg. The flamingo. Buff flamingo. It's fine. It's what you want, I guess. If you're on full exploration, that is. Oh. Okay, we got the preemptive. Fucking Don Flamingo over here. Preemptive counts as an extra turn, but I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Eagle eye. To ensure the kill. Another one. Mamma mia. to be the right way this time, but oh well. Uh -huh. This is my first dungeon crawl. Do you like my map? <laughs> That's probably a map. Oh, we got preemptive and Lambda's dead somehow. And I can't oh. get away. Oh, yeah. I can't get away either. 
Very good. This is the fucking wombo combo right here, dude. Oosh. This motherfucker lowers your lightning resistance. The other one seals your head, so your magic defense goes half down. And then you get hit with the fucking lightning. Smish. Smish. Opened up, man. Why didn't you give her armor again? What do you mean? Why didn't you raise her defense? I did. Hmm. I gave her two books, just not hmm. even yesterday. I didn't give her every book. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, that was Rosa. I haven't given them to anything yet. I get her some HP. I think I'll do that. Getting jumped by this combo is rough. I'd be fine otherwise, maybe. Unless I'd maybe kill him quickly. Good. Power book. Maybe that's going to. Oops. 
Could have ended poorly. Wish the map was slightly zoomed out, just a bit. This guy complains about fucking anything. He hates games. Oh, I mean, well, really though, just a little bit. He hates them. The squares are plenty big enough. I just want to be able to... You know. Not zoom around so much. Small complaint. Gentlemen, Crazy thing behind your head, man. What's up with that? Jeez. Small complaint, but I hate video games. Just something small. Rosa. Checky point. Oh my god, I forgot the thread again, man. Falling apart, dude. Sweet lord, man. Oh, go back, man. Sweet lord Jesus. Luckily, it's extremely close, but damn. Take my gamer card away, man. Over. I'm only allowed to miss it twice around, not three. The Mumeto. Okay. 
Very well. We'll drop her mana, but intact, but the defense is probably worth it. I quit. break items in the dark ether spam Well, if you get some kind of 100 HP accessory, man, I'll probably just give it to him. Or Rosa. Shit. I'll give you an HP level. 6 HP. Wow. Maybe that'll be the last of those. I mean, she needs a little something. You get sniped and all sorts of shit. Stratum 4 guy? I don't know. Yes, it was, actually. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, I found this, uh... This creature. This mushroom... Generating lab. We offer pompous grass to our gods each year to crave grass. Isn't any locally? Oh. Can we see some pompous grass? Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, of course not. Want me to go to Ayutthaya? I'd rather not.
I saw the fucking pompous one, but I don't even go down there. And the boy would know, I assume. Oh, this curse bomb is a book. I see. De Pompis. Back here, you motherfucker. Oh shit. Blue. Pasaran. Oh my. Oh my Jesus. We got him. 2500 XP. What the? What the? What the? Did I, did I just get fucking trolled, dude? Nope. That's the special pass around. What the fuck's so special about him? If you hit him with ice, he spawns another blue. If you hit him with volt, he spawns a yellow. If you hit him with fire, he spawns a red. Oh, and the reds. The reds are 60k experience. Oh my. I'm guessing they all run away. No. The reds self-destruct. Oh. But you have to kill them before they do it? Yeah. You can just infinitely chain off him. Does he but... like never leave? No, he'll try to leave. Mm -hmm. But you just keep summoning another blue. Oh. Yeah. It's very specific though. 
think the yellows are just fucking useless when you be over a right or some shit. Yeah. I forgot the thread again. Fucking brain rot, dude. It's over for me, guys. It's actually like impressive. I just don't think about when I go back, I've always got some other goal. I just forget. And luckily I'm always really close. Drew would suck if I was in a pinch. people with the skeeto next to the spoilers thing. Damn you spoilers help people. Did nobody die? Jesus. Cause everybody's fucking asleep on the job.
secret quest. Why is it secret anyways? The monster. Fucking weak. Maybe I get some more coffee, man. I could go get some energy. Energy lads. I haven't done that in years. Just go late nights at the gas station and get some drinks. I used to do that almost every stream. I'd have like multiple monsters a day. Dark times. No, I barely have any. I mean, I mean, this is the first time I've had soda in a week. Like an actual normal soda. Ooh, it was okay. I expected it to be even tastier. But maybe I was starting to lose the taste. I don't know. It's not like some people where they're like, oh, I'm not drinking soda for a few weeks and then it tasted like poopy dude. I'm like, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, that is not true. Yeah, like it still tastes pretty good, but soda for me is like at its best if I take like a week break or not. If I have it like non stop, then I'm like, eh. You get too used to it. I think people probably maybe just get used to not having as much sugar. Be a whole different thing. Ah. Oh. I don't want to hit 
boost. Oh, she hit the second. Oh, really? Fucking sleep is fucking obnoxious. begins, I think, soon. This guy's a coward. I just don't want to spend 10 hours every fight. This guy's a coward. <laughs> Some vices ain't worthy, baby. That's not very shonen protagonist of you. <laughs> well, I'm a shonen survivor, dude. The ultimate survivor, along with Kaiji. Combo combos, man. Might be real cool. I don't know really what the hair does. I sure know what the middle guy does, but it's not like a huge deal. As long as I don't kill him first. of a front mortar. I don't know why I shot him with Goldsmith. Oh, he's prepping something. I don't know what it is. Just dead ends, man. And blindsided by wombo combos. Very cool. Done with him to fucking use Aegis. It worked out. Jesus. I don't know what game for you. Probably maybe it's SMT. I have no idea. Something where the skill is the second one, which I think is just a lot of RPGs in general. Not like the specifics. I just think there's a lot of skill the second. Magic's right under attack, kind of shit. Oh, 
Nothing wrong with having defense second. It. It's like a muscle memory, I guess. Katie. Got Katie. him. Katie. Got him. I just found the fucking sheep, Katie. Oh no. Ah. The demon sheep, man. Old bastard. They never stood a chance. about over but I think it looks, looks like it's gonna be quite a big jump over here. Just wanna get some different enemy compositions. Swashbuckling your offhand, man. I want that damage, brother. Kill these around the same time. Uh oh. I mean, it's not like they're gonna do a whole lot of damage. Unless they have some paralyzed follow up. Good. Good, good, good. You just get the rabbit tails off those guys. Weird that they would be, uh. Resource. Like a gold item.
Feeling juicy? I'm feeling pretty juicy, man. Nice. I'm feeling my brain seeping. Nice. Out of my ears. Nice. <laughs> nice. Fucking nice, man. Good work, Rosa. You got hit twice in a row. But then order can only stop one. You fucking suck. I'm gonna set up where I can do this. One, two, yeah, I don't have to be there. I have to be on that right now.
Alright. Problem with goldsmith's turns is they take a while sometimes. Push them at max limit. I don't like I care too much about like 20 swash buckles going off. But more often than not, you love to see it. I got it, I got it. You can't get it. Oh man. He's stuck. I'm stuck. Or stuck. <laughs> I drew this wrong. At least when you walk into the mud, you're not technically in like both spots at the same time. You know, you're like slowly going through halfway. That's it. That there would suck. It would be bullshit. Yes. Uh, yes. The feeling uh, of failure. I think I just need to make it one longer.
Send me in. Guard soul. Oh yeah. What in the sham fuckery is that? It guards your soul. Mm. From Satan. We don't like Satan around these parts. To get around these guys that doesn't involve killing them. Damn. Didn't even kill these guys, man. Blindsided? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, I walked yes. right into the guy, man. Oh. <laughs> yes. oh, come on, man. Fucking bullshit. Are you winning, son? Of course. No. You're killing me here, man. Wake the fuck up.
I'm gonna walk around with the fucking three to a B or some shit. Sir, it's Theriaka. Mm. Thank you. Of course. That's me shooting himself in the head. My favorite. Goji, Goji still out for the candy. Holy. You really know how to do it, Georgie. I fucking hate ailments in this game. It's like the only thing the fucking AI can do that has any chance of taking you out. Blindside full team ailments. Six turns straight. There really needs to be a way to uh, immune ailments on their healers or something. I mean, I guess it would be a big deal if you didn't get blindside AoE. Hopefully, in the other games, there's a bit more variety than just full team wide AoE ailments. Hopefully, there's like targeted lines, maybe. Or little mix here and there. It's, it's usually the entire party. Non-stop ailments, man. A new bow. somewhere. I feel like I should have those at this point. Better not, better not have better items available here. farmers down there and uh, try out the new stuff. Oh, this shit's worse.
what did we got? Somewhat by shortcut. I feel like that's just going to be a side, like, chest area or something. Because <laughs> there's another door right above it, and there's, I highly doubt they lead to the same fucking area. Or it could be the way down, the other one's the side thing. But there would need to be a shortcut. See palsy distract. I think of palsy, and I cry. I cry bloody tears. say that's great. This motherfucker just gave me eight of each Theriaka as a quest reward. That's, that's too many. That's gonna fill the old sack up. My fucking sack. My sack is so full. Somebody empty my sack. You get like more inventory in the later games. Nice, full suit. I can store so much shit. Oh, good. oh dude, get slapped. Holy fuck. Yeah. Consider yourself owned. Get me the hell out of here.
Thank God you have 20 of them. Yeah, I was like, I am definitely gonna need more. Shows you at the top. About out. But I wonder if it just does, doesn't do it in there. It says unspecified time, so I imagine it's randomized. Oh, uh, that could be. More what it means than uh...
Maybe we'll go grab a energy drink in a bit. I think maybe just stepping outside might help in general. Go get some of that oxygen. Could use a little oxygen then. Need some CPR. What is in here? A girl suddenly appears before you. I don't have to do any weird mapping. I don't mind doing it, it's just that in that particular instance. Small reprieve. Enjoy whatever Olympia shit's going on will be good. Let's see what's this direction. And then I'm gonna warp out. Save. There might be a boss coming out here. There's been mid bosses for a while now. I wouldn't be surprised if this is no different. I mean, I've got enough mana. <laughs> I could just go. And if I lose, well, I didn't really get anything other than more just going to up here. Maybe I'll go in then. Save a small run back. Small, but... some stuff over here. This guy's insane. Am I? Yeah. What's the shit in the middle? Did I just totally miss a pathway through the middle? No. Hmm. I was just calling you insane. Oh. Yeah. Nice. That's all this one is. Two dead ends. I'm losing my mind. 
Do they just want you to get through there with the guards one? I feel like probably not. It's probably a very think... specific type way you can get through that. I don't think I used a guard sword. Hmm. And just keep good. Hmm. Hmm. I like that <laughs> advice. I like that advice. What's a commoner? He can't get good. <laughs> you sorry fool. You could never be a napper. I'm wondering is where this fucking mushroom man is. What feels that bottom right room I haven't been in yet? Guess I'll go check that room. Would it be down in the bottom right? In yes. The middle of nowhere. Yes. Absolutely. We listen to this game with like one ear sometimes. There's a lot of like only laughter right shit in their songs. The uh, water place was bizarre. pieces on the left here only. This creature can take one nice shot. I want a front loader. Squeeze like a fish. This 
the unkillable stool. This will just slowly chip away. I'm going to use a little bit of Rosa here. A bit of Wishy. Wishy's got the dagger. I need to get him within range to actually do the deed. Shot the poor bastard. Alright, that's very close. Not close enough, but he's. He's getting there. Uh, let's just keep doing prevent orders. I'd rather not take a risk. We could just go rest again. Beware of the lad. The lad. I'll use our special poisonous. Dagger. That count. You skillfully slice the mushroom monster's head off. Official certificate. Okay. Thanks for the cert, brother. You're now professional mushroom slayer. Mushroom slayer mm. college graduate. <laughs> Georgie, please come up to the, the podium and give us a speech. was just to be the punchline for her here. It wasn't a date. It was a monster killing. Next level, five ring sword. Will it be oh. everything I ever dreamed of? Let's see if it requires some levels to be any good. Ooh. Okay. Uh, finish this floor. For some reason I feel like we were on the third floor, man, but it's only the second. I mean, I figure in the last dungeon most of these are going to be really big. I do hope the next two have... I mean, no, not... More moderate sized. Just to... Just to mix it up and maybe, you know... I don't feel like the next two take too long. Yeah, just... Just for like a... Yeah, or like a gimmick to freshen it up. These two are fine, but these are big. I wouldn't want like the same exact thing. 
for another third gigantic form. Shot up into that monkfish. I guess I could see them having us run from it. Overall, I guess I'm fine with the level design, and obviously the atmosphere is fine too. It's just been two very long ones, and I think the uh, compositions are a little too much work sometimes. They're not all like deadly, but now that I'm doing from order, it's like a lot of like menuing every turn, and the chance that all these ailment spammers is like. Ugh. for it's not more the same on the monster side of things Gentlemen, mm -hmm. Jesus, there's a lot of them too. Huh? Mm -hmm. My gentle says, oh, "Is he like blocking the door?" I'm in danger. Oh. Mommy. You fucked up. That was the downturn. Oh, I can't wait to rewalk through this shit again. It's your own fault. Didn't count the fucking bullets. <laughs> I couldn't even see him on the map when all this shit's blocking your vision. Another one defeated by the final boss, B18F. <laughs> Second floor walk back is kind of shite.
We won't finish tonight. This one floor is taking like two and a half, three hours. I call a monstrous floor. There we go, uh, purple. They were red. And then they just were still red. Yeah, dude, they moved twice. Oh. The lore. Respect the lore. Of course, we're having the absolute worst escape of. Why wouldn't we? Endure. Based. Oh, uh, based, I would say. I'm about to do what's known as a pro game remove and <laughs> just uh, go in this corner. <laughs> I don't think the corner is going to be good. This guy's no, off center it, now. It is not going to be good. Well, none of these are going to be good. Is there fucking off center, off, off beat now? Like I could I'm slowly do kill this. a pro game remove and just uh, run away from the FOE with a specific position so that I back up a tile I want to be in. Oh, too late. There's no escape sign. Dude, Georgie with the fucking clutch. <laughs> uh. Gentlemen, I can uh. explain everything. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful when room. When backs against the wall. I love this room. I love that they didn't put a shortcut right next to this one. A mid boss man. Just be these fucks. There's a very specific order to go in. I wish I had the whole map mapped. If I could just count them out. The thing is, I could beat them in a five. I mean, I've beat plenty of guys, but they're very close together. I'd rather not fight, you know.
Gentlemen, I'm back. I am once again asking for your cooperation. <laughs> I think these are just those. This is just down here. Getting them all in the fucking fight together, man. be easier just to slowly kill each fucking one of them and probably not. Hey man. That's the madness talking. Solve. Now imagine playing one of these games without a medic so you can only revive with nectars. It's worse than it sounds. No, it sounds pretty fucking horrible. It's better than it sounds. <laughs> That's better than it sounds. I wonder if there's anything in one of these corners. There's not. Oh my god, he's about to do it. Ah! <laughs> Have faith, my son. No. The gentleman did. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, Jesus. Fools, I'm out. <laughs> Licking my wounds here. It's the fuzz. Book it. It's the fuzz. Get me the hell out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. No. Get people up, I got no idea how long this is gonna be.
We like teleporters. Your notation will always amuse me. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> it's gonna mark this one too, and then just put a, a note. I just used a colored tile and an arrow. It's assuming, Minimalism. assuming they all go in a f the same fucking direction. Colored tile would be fine, but what the? You no, know this guy's using three icons <laughs> for the job of one. <laughs> the job of one. <laughs> It's a, I'm gonna mark these with a remote. Look, they might get more complicated. No comment. But for this one, I'm like, what is this guy doing? Let me see the direction this goes. No more fights. We're done fighting. No. Just want to get to the shortcut. symbols like just a plethora of small symbols I could just link together like a fucking ball sack these are the ball sack teleporter uh, much easier hopefully the later games have a lot more symbols and shit oh yes because I would say this one's a bit limited Because I don't like the idea of, like, annotating with text A2 or some shit when, in reality, there's going to be probably multiple teleporters. Same fucking area. And I could put an orange underneath. And then just use a random symbol to link them together and just know that orange means those symbols are teleport link. Yeah, that'd be a madman shit, but the orange would be the, the signifier. Problem is if there's a shitload of teleports I got here. That one NPC spoiled portals, and they're not even in this till like the very fucking end. Yeah, it was great. Like, uh, okay. Maddening abundance of gates. Whoa. Well, that sounds like a like a time right there. Mm. 
Sometimes I don't think I'm gonna have enough symbols to link that many games. So I might just have to stick to notes. Coupon. Nice. Me, Solomon Thrifty. Huh. I'm sure we'll be using them again. Why they don't respawn in other playthroughs? Like, who cares? It's New Game Plus. And they really want you to grind? You must spend wisely. Oh god, he's got the same one. I know where these go. To figure. I'll have to see how the next four looks. Some say maddening. The maddening abundance. Life has many doors. A maddening is abundance of them. Why don't they just ask you and check out? Instead of when you go in. I guess so you can see what the price would be. Your brain can't do simple maths. It seems Wajun is nearing a ten. Does everybody just like already know every single thing? Oh yes, it must be uh, near the end, of course. I felt like a mother to you. Thanks, mom. Give me your money. I would say. That while it's fun to poke fun at, everybody being like way too aware of every single thing going on, um, there might be a little bit much in this. Like if people are telling you there's already gates, there's already people, the quests are, you know, phrased in a way that everybody already knows everything going on before you've even discovered it yourself. A certain, some of the sense of mystery and like, ooh, I'm discovering shit. I'm the first person here is just completely gone. <laughs> it's like everybody and their mama. Hmm, she's like, I, I, I feel like you might have two floors left, a <laughs> boss or something. I'm, I'm almost expecting that. I think it's a, it's a touch too much, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think they just balanced it better at the beginning. Like everybody already knows this floor, the you know the the forest, and then you're just kind of like you know you're treading past they've been on, and you know, the second one's a bit more mysterious, and then you get to the drowned city, and it's like whoa, you know, this is totally different. Nobody's been down here, and at that point, the people in the drowned city should be giving you the quest for the next area because they've been there, and then after that, it's like. Maybe rumors from the Drowned City. Maybe they say you have a small group of people who are coming with you. And phrase the quest differently. And this one should just be like... like almost just like myths only or something. Who knows? Or the, or the quest come after, but that sucks for gameplay. Like after you clear your floor. Or god forbid you get a quest from somebody in there, in a floor. 
Rock of Wages, Intelligence. Boulder in the Labyrinth and Hills Woods. I don't remember that. Or yeah, or have quests that go backwards, like into other zones, right? Just to mix it up. I think someone's slacking it. Oh, my sister's slacking I wonder who this is. That's her shop open at day and at night. Okay. Your adventures are going to come to an end soon. You beat up a catfish. I sure did. Everybody talks like they already know the future or something, dude. Didn't we give him the mushroom dagger back already? Oh, I equipped it and it's gone or something. I imagine she's just checking on her. Yup, your son. Don't let anyone take that from you. Only blue bloods can enter. Only blue bloods can enter, but the random guild wanna just to grab some salt out of it. Like it's their fucking salt shack. Yeah, because the place is open for business right now. Because you paved the way. Is it? Or is it just for literally us? I guess everybody can go down there. Have you chosen a side? Yes. Hesitation doesn't suit a hero. Shut up, you old ass bastard. Remember, don't reconsider your decisions. Always go fucking bullheaded oh, straight yeah. in. Bullheaded, no fucking. No regrets. Don't think about them. Don't reflect. Go hard. to Shroom. Could we miss down here? Above the forest shrine. Maybe it's one of the close games. Mm, didn't seem like it. Some of these would be in the next area that I imagine post game enemies. The 50 different kinds of passerines. Those and quests. Thunderhead, Flamehead, Frosthead, Ruin Call, King Pang. I imagine it's one of King Penguin's side pieces. 
20,000 HP. Oh, but he doesn't need pick when he double damage. Biathan, I assume this will be the one for the post game swimming bit. The gatekeep. Here. Who are all these fuck? Is this just the fucking other rounds? Or like three dudes or something? Here, maybe. A lot of bosses missing here. I imagine a lot of post gamer signs. Who knows? You should really give me more shit, lady. To annotate my map. Man, that floor was massive, dude. That was to the... It was pretty big. The, the fucking rim, like the rim, the egg, it's as big as it could be. There's no space on it. And it wasn't like the lava one where you could just paint 50 squares of it and just ignore it. Like, it's, you will step on every single bit of it. And the, the one before it wasn't much different either, it's pretty big. Princess the deep one or something then? Or is it the the guy they were trying to save or the brother of the I don't know. I don't give a fuck. What the <laughs> <laughs> We'll find out when we get there.
Fuck you. What flame? Jesus, Kimi. KD. <laughs> this bass who keeps wanting me to fucking stop. He's already drunk. <laughs> he keeps wanting me to fucking shell out for him, man. I'm the fucking business. I don't have to pay for shit. I don't care how many delicacies you get to eat, you fucking bastard. I just paid you to tell me this shit. Tie up a forest hare's head. Fuck you. I'm not doing that. You gotta pay up to know how to kill them instantly. Except I already paid you. You fuck. This guy's ripping me off, man. Is it his fault you're an easy mark? Hmm. Hmm. Cooper. She wants to make her sister some clothes or go visit herself. Violet tail. Also, I was hoping Good that luck. she was just getting something for her sister, because that would be a bit more of a nice character thing. Have I seen these before? No. Oh, oh Jimmy, that's not the words I wanted to hear. What? It's a Stratum 5 material. Calm the fuck down. Oh, Jesus, Jimmy. Katie. Jimmy. Yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> it's so simple. You get a quest for the new area, go do shit in the new area. We've, Wait, gone, we've gone back to old areas. Huh? That was so strange fun. boulder, man. I was hoping for some quick XP. It is quick. What the fuck? It's one item. We got no choice but to get back in there. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> Come on, man. Mm, do I want to go out and grab something to drink? Hmm. Mm, how long is something? This is open.
I'm not fucking walking, you dumb apes. Whoever made this. I think we'll do that. I don't want to take a break too bad, but I kind of need, like, I feel like 30 minutes to an hour just to walk around, get a little something, refresh myself. No. <laughs> well, it'll be better in the long run, because I won't be such a stick in the mud zombie. Alright, so I will be back, guys. Um, probably less than an hour. I don't think I'm going to go get a bunch of food. I might just get, like, I don't want to get a candy bar, but maybe I'll just get drinks and then come back and finish off some food. Maybe make another Dilla. Um, this man is fucking Dillas. Stop him. Well, I have some pork. I want to use it. Alright, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry, super low injury. I know that with this game, there's only so much discussion we're really having. I could probably do a better job of talking about level design or something, but uh, today's been extra low energy on the part. Thank you guys for chilling if you've been here. <gasps> We're nearing the end of this route. I um, don't know if we'll finish tonight. I was gonna sleep in six hours. Considering this fucking floor took like three and a half. Unlikely. And we may or may not do the penguin one before the end. I don't know how much I care. It depends on the loot from it. It's a 50 something quest. I feel like by the bottom of this we're gonna be like like sub 50, maybe 50 straight up, so feels like the penguin and beyond is almost like a post game thing. But maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna get some fucking like earthbound level boost or something. We'll definitely do them in post game. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I might look up the rewards for them. I don't know if I want to. Eh, I should probably tell them what legitimately at least once. <laughs> well, maybe not them. Um, yeah, anyways, so we might finish this route uh, tonight, more likely tomorrow. And then we'll do the next route. Should be a few hours. Um, I'm just gonna run through everything with the farmer. I could probably fucking have two farmers and <laughs> two farmers and uh, three actual party members and just fucking blow chunks until we get to the bottom. We'll see, and then we'll do the true end. So we'll be doing uh, one of the routes again. So we'll run through the whole thing again. Then mess with the post game. Um, probably gonna give the final guy like one shake. I, I imagine I'll just want to fucking cheese ball him. Um, but the other guys yeah. will give the old little college try. And uh, maybe in between some of those routes, we'll do Sifu for a day. A little refresher. Do it after, then 
and then triangle strap. And then hold it up. Uh, I'll see you guys in a few. If not, that's what's happening. Ciao for now.